Hello everyone, Lawrence here at Happy Bike Days and while I am mostly a mountain biker I can't help myself but take gravel bikes and road bikes off-road on some mountain biking trails. This is the Superior Bikes X, maybe Cross Road GR in the Team Comp uh, spec I think. It's called Matt Trooper Green this color even though it's quite clearly blue and it's got Shimano GRX on it 40 tooth in the front and then you got an 11 tooth 40 tooth in the back so you can really get up a whole lot of stuff because this bike weighs next to nothing one of the things i really noticed getting back on a road bike for the first time in years is the seat angle it felt like i was sitting behind the rear wheel it's really quite a slack seat angle i wish the head angle was a slack uh, because it's just steep and obviously it's a gravel bike so this thing is incredibly stiff. Uh, I don't think that the guys at Superior really try to implement any sort of compliance into this bike. If they did, they, they failed quite miserably. Now, of course, it's the road gravel, um, this frame. And so on the road and going up these climbs, having a bike this stiff and lightweight is amazing because I think I'm going uphill faster than I had or than I did with most of the e-bikes I tested at this bike testing event. However, heading down, um, there's no grip. So it's a Schwalbe G1 all-round race guard in 28 by 1.5 inch, uh, this front and rear tire, and there's just, just no grip really. But again, it's a gravel bike. I think if you are into gravel riding, you could probably have a good time, uh, maybe put on a seat, uh, seat post that doesn't have any layback and just slam the saddle forwards. Um, but this was quite good fun. Obviously, we're just doing green mountain biking trails on the gravel bike. Um, it's as far as I really want to push it, uh, especially because it's not my bike and I don't want to break someone, in, someone else's frame. Uh, the only sort of flex I really noticed was in the forks when I had this sort of stepped rough terrain. Um, while also braking uh, on the front wheel. That's when you can really feel the fork flexing back and forwards a little bit. Other than that though, I kind of enjoyed using a gravel bike again, riding a gravel bike again. When I first got on it, I completely forgot how um, road brake levers even work. And if you would ask me right now, I still wouldn't know. But I got back into it quite quickly. It was quite intuitive. And this would be a really nice bike to add to my, my uh, bike fleet to just do some gravel riding around where I live. So I may ask these guys at Superior Bikes if I can borrow one of these for just a little bit longer than half an hour so that I can you know, make a proper review of something like this, probably with the saddle a whole lot further forwards. Guys, if you enjoyed the Happy Bike Days content, let me know in the comments and uh, definitely let me know which bikes you would like me to try out for a lot longer than this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers!